Hey, thanks for watching DD Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. All right, so we've got Abby here, longtime client. She sends me lots of business. Her, she's the mom of Gogo, the Cocker Spaniel. Uh, I have two black Cocker Spaniels, or had two co black Cocker Spaniel clients, Sunshine and Gogo. -Go. Gogo -Go passed away. She's the one on my YouTube with some coughing, um, having some coughing while she she did pass away. And this is her sister in the same family. And we are going to do a seven fade in West Highland Terrier cut, uh, fade in the, the skirt, trim the skirt very lightly and do a one guard head. This is what she likes. She has been coming for years, so we've got this down. So I'm going to brush her all the way out first. And she's just a little excited. It's, it's cold. It's not hot. So she's just a little excited. So I'm going to have her stand up and I'm going to start back here and brush her. Because all this is going to stay. And it does look matted. And maybe even running my comb here, I might run into snags. But not really that bad. West Highland Terrier hair like crazy. So it looks real tough and matted, but I know it's not. It's just a really thick, different kind of coat. So I'm going to brush it all through so I can see what I'm working with before I come through if, um, to do the hair cutting. Now, running the seven down, it's really choppy sometimes. I've, I've played with the West Highland Terrier's hair. Other groomers are probably real, much better at it. But my favorite is the seven. It's going to leave less choppiness in the coat. But if you do a four blade or a five blade, not a guard, but a four blade or a five blade down, you're going to have a lot more lines. So we're going to do a seven down the back. And pretty dirty coat. I haven't seen her since, like, I don't want to throw, throw them under the bus, but maybe... Uh, over six months, maybe longer. But I mean, I mean, this is all brushing out really nicely, so it's not like it's matted. Thank goodness. Brush this all out. I don't really know what David's seeing from the back that over there. Are you able to really capture what's going on? Yes. Hold the chin here and just brush all this out. Some tangles right there. I'm gonna cut that out anyway. All that maroon from this this right here, I'm gonna cut all that out. Okay, come here now. Just gentle. Just be gentle with it. The hair is very thick and wild. I've got my 40 here, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the feet, the feet while I've got the 40 on. Instead of switching out blades to get started, I'm just going to go with what I've got on there still. There's knots in there, so like I said, dig in there a little bit. It's like a scooping. You're going to scoop them out.
Good size mat right there. It's definitely painful being stuck in the pad like that. Just scoop in there some more just to make sure I got it all. It's too rough in my fingers here. Let's see. I think that clean this out a little bit more here. That's good for now. Okay, I'm going to get my seven. And I just start on the base of the neck here. And you have to really watch your lines, where the pet's at and everything. With these with this breed, we're gonna come seven and watch your lines. You're gonna, I mean a line, if I come down this way, I'm gonna put a whole line down there and I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't wanna do that. And someone who's better than me at the Wessies might critique, I kinda don't care. I kinda listen to what the clients want and go from there and then develop a haircut that they enjoy. So if you don't like this part of, what I'm doing and it's on you you can do whatever cut you want on the your client's dogs you know what I'm saying teach your own it's a lot of static but these are great examples of how like later on if you've got some choppiness to the coat I'm gonna show you it may not be perfect but like we need the pet to stand up and I may get this dog up stand, we'll just see. I'm not pushing down too hard, but the more she moves, the more I may be able to put different lines in her hair, which I don't want to do. I'm not pushing down really hard. I'm really holding her boobies down here because I want her not to move while I'm doing this, or she's gonna make some lines in the coat. much static. So, okay. Hold on now. David's got you. <laughs> okay, turn around. I need you. So we have we, I did this before and I, I don't like this strap so if I have this strap around the dog with the dog up stand now I have to move around this strap so so some of you want that strap um, that was what we had tried to do before I actually don't want it right now I'm gonna move it off which is why when we made them we didn't include the holes for that but we might bring them in for those of you who want to do the, the strap but this will help her stay up for me while I lay this pattern down. Stretch out the skin, make it taut. And I'm not gonna do too much from here because I wanna see my angle on that side. You wanna just, I'm not gonna draw a line like some groomers do. I had a teacher tell me if, if everyone can draw a line, no, not everyone can fade, excuse me, fade in the hair. So when I see a line, I just know that that was an easy way to do a cut. To fade that right where you want that line to be. It takes just a little extra time. kind of want to be like right about there. And any little, I mean like any little wrongness in the clipper and the movement of the body, the breathing is causing some of these. Let's 
static is really getting on my nerves, but it's also really affecting the cut. Wait, I'm going to finish up some other stuff so I can take that dog up stand off. So much hair. I can't even see what you need to do. Stop. Stop. Kind of bring your circling in all around here. to a 10 now. Give myself some relief here. The static. Alright, now I'm going to go do the 10. I'm going to do the sanitary while she's standing. I'm going to do the butt area here. I was going to say, the dog up stands right there, so be careful. I'm going to move it out of the way for a minute here so I can really do the sanitary on her back here. Get all that hair out of there. Clean all that out real good, but be careful. Get this leg get in there. Okay. Let me move this out of the way for a minute. Okay, let me see if I want to go up here. Go up, there you go. I'm going to come a little bit of reverse. I've got some nipples I don't want to nick. Just kind of get all that like that. Watch that flap on the inside there. Don't get any skin. Go every which way so you can kind of hollow this out. Real lightly. Okay, come down. Let me see your face while we're here. Okay, I was gonna tackle her face, but I think I'm gonna do trimming there, not, not shaving. Okay. Now, I'm gonna come back and do like kind of a carrot tail situation. I'm kinda, we got all this hair, right? So, you're going to have to scissor a lot, or actually I'm, what I'm going to do is save a little bit of scissor time, but keep it all even. I'm going to bring my two guard down the tail first. Just straight down. We're going to cut all that, and then I'm going to come back with my seven. She does love to sit, doesn't she? And she's a good girl. She just doesn't want to stand up. I want to kind of thin that out here. And this is not everyone's technique, so. Now I'm going to come and scissor it. See, it saved me some time and I kept everything the same length here on top. So you, with the carrot tail, you're going to want to keep it like a carrot. I'm holding the tip of her, the meat of the tail, so I know where not to cut. 
and she's sitting down, but I'm still going to try to get it without having to force her to stand up. So I got the meat of the tail right there. And then you're going to would obviously do more after the bath, but It's very sensitive. Tails are pretty sensitive on animals. I haven't done a lot of reading as far as that, but I'm pretty sure it's because all the nerves are back there. It's very, very much ticklish or something like that, you know? And dogs don't know how to laugh, so they're probably going to be like out of anger. They don't like you messing with it because they don't know how to, they don't have that laughing mechanism. Okay, we'll come back to the tail later. All right. So now, because we've got some hair here to shape up and stuff. I'm just going to round this down a little bit. Come back. I'm just going to um, go around here just for now. See what I'm working with. And if you need any of the tools I use, most of them are found on my shopping channel down below. And be sure to subscribe and share. That helps us grow. We appreciate it. I love those clippers. I have them for sale on our website. You can buy them. The prices have increased across the board on those Andas clippers. So you might want to get them before they keep going up in price. Okay. So instead of spending a lot of time hand scissoring, I'm going to come back with a guard there. And again in the front feet, I'm going to come back and scissor this, this leg here. Since it's just a round, kind of following the knee there. Brush everything out and up so you can trim it down. Normally I would do the nails, but uh, in, this, in her situation it's not really going to affect me because her nails are not severely long, so I'll just trimming all the hair out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna come back with the guard now. A lot, using a lot of different tools to create the effect that we want. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna first try the two guard down on the back of the legs. And I'm going to go ahead and just do it really lightly on the front, too. Now I can come back and scissor, but this is all kind of the same weight. Anything sticking out, I'm just kind of sleep in there. So two guard on the back of the legs for all these flurries. Saves me a little hand scissor time. I was going to grab the four, but I could see maybe the two. If the two didn't take off enough, then I would have moved to the four. So I've got to try to balance it out. This is just so you don't have to hand scissor at all. It's the same thing, except for it's just more strokes with the scissors. Trust me, you hand scissor all the dogs every day. Your, all this of your hand is going to be painful and tired over the years, especially. But there's people who are hand scissoring every dog they do, so that should be a more expensive grooming situation, if you ask me. Or a static here. Getting, rounding them and getting all the flurries away, sticking out. Just move it into your way and then trim. Okay, 
some grass in there. Okay, now let's see here. I don't believe I'm going to shave the ears here, but I am going to tip them. I'm going to square them up like this. Grab your leather. I'm going to get this all this stuff out of my way for a minute. Work on the face and then come back to the ears after I do a little bit of one guard on the face. I may shave the bottom of those there. So much static, man. It's really getting on my nerves. Well, that's winter time, isn't it? Okay, we'll come back to this a little bit. I might have took a little too much off the other one, but I'm going to just even it out and then we'll come back in a minute. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Don't let me see. Comb it all up in your way because we're not going to shave here. And I'm going to come in uh, and do my inverted V here. Maybe. Just a little bit, kind of, let's see, let me see an opening first and I'll come in here and detail it up some more. I'm gonna trim off whatever this is, food and stuff. What's he doing, man? He's walking around. Tell him to stop walking around. Hmm? Hmm? It's all matted up there a little bit. Just a little bit here to kind of blend that in this way. Brush this some more here. Hmm. That's looking nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so long. Yeah, so now we're going to come back with our guard, remember? So we're not even done here. That got that brush nicely, but we're going to come down and take some length off with the guard here. So get it all looking crazy. Get it all out, out in your way. Okay. Now this is a one guard. I'm going down. I need to double check that. One reverse, okay. One reverse teddy bear head. Reverse is this way. Against the grain of the hair. Don't keep moving. And I'm not digging. I actually want to create a round. I'm not going to dig it all up. I'm just going to take some of this length and stuff off, but I'm not like, if I took it all off, it would look like a two guard. I, I would have just used a two guard. But I can see the shape already before I started doing the shave, and I could see where I, how cute it could be if I left it a bit full, especially on the Westies. It's, it's their face, you know, structure. Yeah, you can kind of see that coming out.
Okay, you see. Yeah, so that's looking good. Where the ears are at, it's important. Okay, so I'm going to come back now with scissors. And just create that little, just go around like a rainbow, right? Yeah, isn't that pretty? I kind of like all this. I'm just going to take some of the length off so it's not too... So I found this here for six, eight months. Doesn't get too dirty. Hey, buddy, we're here. Thank you. Okay, bye. That's the landlord. I must pick up. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. So now. I want to take off those spots I told you about right here. And actually, I'm going to come back with my tin blade. I'm going to use my tin blade on the ears, on the inside of the ears, and that maroon area. I just want to clean this up so it's not sticking out everywhere. Watch your skin flaps in there. You can totally slice through that. Ears are dirty, so that'll tell me to come back and clean them really good. Okay. Hair is everywhere. Clean all that out. And then down here. Which part of it she keeps putting her head down. We can just totally raise her head a little bit here. So I'm going to come in here and clean that out. This is from the canines here drooling. See, it just leaks fluid there, which is fine, saliva. But it'll color the hair, so I'm just going to shave that a little out. Same thing here. Right up as close as I can. Do not nick the dog, you know. Just using the corner of my tent. No, no. No, no. Let me get in there. She's a good girl, but you be careful if you don't know the dog. Take that out. Ever so lightly. You don't want to create like a whole chopping block in there. And I'm going to take out... You can't hardly see again. Take out some of the dirt stuff and the maroon up in here. No, no. Let me get it. All this going into the teeth causes all that plaque. It helps cause the plaque and stuff that we saw like on those other dogs the other day. Remember that? I know. Let me see. See all that hanging in there? Her teeth look good though. But mom, and, mom goes to the vet a lot. Mom takes care of their babies. So she could have had a recent dental too. No, no, no. Just very gently grab some. Not all dogs are going to let you do this. Be careful. You will nick a tongue. You will nick the lip. Okay, so now we're going to come back. And uh, we'll brush in a minute so you can see better. The head is looking really good. We're going to come back and just go right to the leather here. Make sure you don't cut the dog. Hold the leather between your fingers. And it's... I, I usually like to go kind of a roundedness, so instead of all pointy, it's kind of cuter that way. But do whatever you want. If you want it real sharp right there, do the sharp look. This is like art. You have your own preferences here, people. Okay, I'm going to come back. I may have to do the tent a little bit on the back just to feather it right. because the static is really making it really difficult to get the exact look I want. Hmm. Okay, real light with the 10 on the back here. Just it gets it all out of my elbows. 
white hairs out of the way there. Okay, now let's brush it all back so we can see what we're working with. If we're pretty complete here. All that hair in the mouth. head back and forth a little bit more. Got a little bit of bulk here. I'm going to debulk that a little bit. Don't. Let's see. There you go. Let's see. Push that down. Now we are definitely working with a lot of static, so everything's kind of flurry up when it wouldn't normally be. So. What's these things doing? Okay, you can use your regular shears or you can use also debulking right here. Just take out some of that or you can just come in this way and know where the end of it is, right? So. Not a lot, we're just taking some of, just kind of thinning it out, if you want to say. Just like you would do humans. Okay. See how we took out a lot of that bulk there? Now then come back and reshape it a little bit. Same thing here, come in this way. So much hair. Let me see. So we're going to finish up the most of this, the rest of this after the bath. So this hair with all this static, I can, it's more manageable. But that's what we're looking at right now. It looks pretty good, right? So get that static out of there, get a clean coat, and then we will come back to you. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. David's already done the bath and drying and brushing out for me. So we're going to get started with just finishing up the haircut. We're looking really nice. And oh gosh, if you guys could just feel this coat. Oh, I just love the conditioner. I love the shampoo. We use pet silk conditioner and shampoo. I am just now loading the gallons online. Um, so go there and shop uh, pet silk shampoo. We have some of the best prices on that across the board. Uh, trust me, we go through and price everyone else out too before we list it because if we can't um, make a dollar, then we won't carry it. We'll just send you over to Amazon, we'll send you over to Walmart, you know, but we have some of the best prices on the products that we do carry. And I can tell you, man, this coat is so soft. I could just feel the conditioner, uh, the work it did on the coat. So, and the smell is just amazing. Mmm, not yet. Yeah. Okay, pet parents are outside waiting, so I'm going to try to wrap this up quickly. All right, so we're going to come back. Actually, um, every now and then, remember I told you guys about some lines and stuff? I'm going to come with my Furminator and just pull some some or any dead hair out, okay? And some of it may be live, but I'm not gonna be trying to dig too much. Sometimes there's just uh, little bumps on the skin too that cause little lines. So gently just kind of taking out some of that hair to cause this to maybe be smoother. Not gonna spend a lot of time here. And I'm probably going to do it again right after we do come back with the seven. Because there's there's some hair coming out here. Look at that. There's some hair coming out here. We're going to come back after this. We're going to come out after I do my seven. Because I think I'm going to level it all out. Always check your blade. Always glance at it. Took me one lesson to, to learn. Always glance at the blade. 
So I'm not going to do too much digging because the pattern's laid pretty nice. I just don't want to create a bunch of lines that I have to fix. So really lightly. It's hard not to do it. It's hard not to do it heavy. Almost makes you want to get the next blade longer. If you do it heavy handed, you're going to have some lines there. I can already see slight lines. So, and I'm not trying to be heavy handed at all. I'm just trying to smooth out what was taken off for the bath, you know, all the cleanliness now here. But that's why these white pets and fading this stuff in is kind of hard. You can hear my blade running pretty fast and hard, so I need to foil these after the groom today. And sometimes, you know, this dog may wear a collar all day, so there's going to be some lines there that are never going to go away because it's just indented. And that's okay, because the collar's going to go right back on, cover all that back up. It's kind of hard to blend in there. See, here I am holding the dog up so I can get a good cut, a good smooth line. So. Those of you who have not ordered a dog up sand, go order one. They are amazing. I, how can I use this hand if it's up under here just assisting the dog? It's just impossible. So she's going to sit. But when it comes to you know being able to use two hands, like I really need to be doing this, not holding the dog up. So the dog up sand, you can find that. I think the link is still below. I think we're still posting that below. We're doing pre-orders for the small size now. And if you pre-order now, then you won't see the difference in the price increase. So go pre-order at the Dog Up Stand website or pre-order on the Square website below. Such a handy tool. Okay. I've got my seven still. I'm just kind of seeing some stuff hanging around and I'm just lightly taking it off. Okay, so now we're going to go do our ten. Basically, we're doing the whole cut over. Ten with our one down. So I can get this all neckline all finished. Oh, one reverse, right? So we're going to come read one reverse here. Ten minutes, Mom.
nice clean, clean hair. That conditioner makes it so soft. It's amazing. I'm liking the fluffiness of everything, so we're not going to take a bunch off of the body. I'm going to come back through and just touch up with my brush and make sure, though. Because I need her ears up, I'm going to tighten this up. Hi, hi, baby. Hi. Yes, I need your ears up so I can see what we're working with. There's some stragglies hanging around here. Watch your, this is a very long scissor, so be careful. But you need that cut to be long there. So, I'm going to come back with my smaller scissors to clean up the ears a little bit more. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. 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 to put, push that hair right out of there so it doesn't go in the eyes if possible. Yeah, there's some static still. Yes, there is. So I can see this is a little tighter than this. I'm gonna come over here and tighten this up. That'd be kind of the same. Tighten it up a little bit. We have more here than we do here. I know, you're excited. Mom's out there. Mama's out there. Yes, she is. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Yeah. I'm messing with your ears. And you can kind of do point tip here, too. So it's still, it's not perfect, right? back with our other scissors anyway. So hard. You've been so hard. You're too excited. You're too excited. Yeah, I know. Let me see. I'm gonna trim some of this that's going into the mouth. I'm taking that out.
You don't want them sucking on that, you know? Yeah. Get this side. Let me see. Let me see. Don't bite me. Unless she's outstanding. You never know getting into a dog's mouth. Don't get mad here. All this stuff. It's maroon because it's hanging out in the mouth. Let me get that. You keep swiping it back in there. You keep swiping it back in there. I think I'm being too picky right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to come back and use my 10 on this ear on the inside. Some of these right here. All this kind of here. Clean these out a little bit. Stop moving. Stop. Stop. Look this way. Just clean those out flat. So the flurries aren't sticking around. Alright, let's see. Let's sweep our station here and see where we're at. everything out, kind of just check everything over. David's already brushed, but I'm just moving everything down so I can see what I, what I still have left to do. Kind of just trimming out, not to the skin or anything, because I like the whole scraggly look. I think that goes with the West Highland Terrier look. So I am going to shape everything up. to where it even looks like you actually took scissors and you know what I mean like just kind of have it scraggly at just a tiny hair Watch your scissors here. Does not want me on there. Do you want me back here? You don't want me back here. I'm sorry, we're almost done. We're almost done here. Let me see, can you stand? 
I want that carrot tail. Again, make sure you know where your meat's at. Might cut the point right off, you don't want that. Okay, we're looking good here. Let's double check. What are they? Good. I'm actually going to take the eyes just a little bit deeper because that part's going to grow the fastest. I'm going to try to blow that off there. Okay. trimming here. I had a lady email me today and she had watched one of my nail trimming videos and she went to do her dog's nail trim and she cut a lot off and the dog was bleeding sever severely. So I may make it look easy, but please don't do it at home if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, my advice to her was to, because I cannot tell you through an email how much you cut off, right? You can't explain that. If it's raw and bloody, I would definitely get it clean and keep it clean and not wrapped up. If it's raw and bloody and really bad shape, I would see a veterinarian and then I would not do that again. Not without training. And even with training, well, I mean, you really do need training. I don't really give out toenail trim training, honestly, but we will be having that DVD come out soon, you guys. Just keep a watch out. Okay, so let me come back with the first. So much, so much details to this cut. Okay, I'm going to come out and do some de-shedding here. Look at that. Helps, helps smooth out some of the lines, man. It takes them right out almost. If you really mess up, though, you get your bl blending shears and use those lightly, ever so lightly, and then firminate and brush and see where you're at. And keep doing that until you get it to look smooth in there. If you came down with a five or a four blade and you just can't get all those lines out, you probably need to change out your blade drive for one and then you might want to just go ahead and come back with a four reverse or a two guard four guard reverse or a two guard reverse to fix it if you had used a four or five blade down and it looks real choppy that's what you would do ferminate blending shears if you needed to repair some lines what i mean is like there's not, there's a bit, barely any chisel right there. So barely brush it, barely kind of come in here like that. To kind of, if you had really made a big mark, you can really kind of blend it until it's fixed. But if it's too bad, you may have to just take it down one notch lower, which is going a guard reverse. Guard will give you a, just a different kind of lay of the hair and it'll help. Look at all that, man. That'll help some of the shedding at home anyway. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna double check the face one more time. Yeah, there's a lot of movement, but I think we're looking really good. All right, let's see. 
put that over here. Thanks for watching Didi Crow with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, uh, comment below. We'll try to respond. Make sure you share, 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 and shop with us. Check us out at our store online and everything down below. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.